Hi, I'm Evie Kirkwood from St. Joseph County Parks. Join me as we experience nature together. Outdoor Elements is presented in partnership with the St. Joseph County Parks Department, regional parks with natural fun, St. Patrick's County Park, Ferretti Bago Creek County Park, Bendix Woods County Park, and the Spicer Lake Nature Preserve. On today's Outdoor Elements, host Evie Kirkwood discovers some of the different types of decomposers. At St. Patrick's County Park, get on the slimy trail of slugs and snails and learn how they help nature break things down. Learn how composting can make a difference in your kitchen and your garden. But up first, we head to Maplewood Nature Center on a mushroom hunt and see how they can make a tasty treat. Yeah, you see that one? Go ahead and pick that. Really? Yeah, we'll bring it back with us. All right, I'm just going to snap it off at the base, see right? One here? Yeah, just just pop them right off. They come right off. Wow, this is yeah. great. Aren't well, those you know nice? what? We are in the May woods, May, the month of the year, May, at uh, Maplewood Nature Center in LaGrange County. This is Scott Beam, the naturalist here, and we are hunting for a superb delicacy mm -hmm. known as the morels. And there's a lot of different varieties of morels, aren't there? There are. We've got three of the true morels that grew, grow around here. These are some grays. They usually grow in a cluster. Um, if you look around, there might be some more. All right. It's kind of like an I Easter egg hunt. Oh, yeah. When we're looking for morels, uh, does it matter? Like, you know, I said kind of May is usually the time I think of looking for them. But uh, the type of woods or specific areas? They are a fungus that they are pretty specific on what they feed on. Okay. And a lot of people look near a dead elm. Uh-huh, I've heard um, that. But they can also be found around ash trees. Mm -hmm. There are some people that insist you're only going to find them growing under may apples. Uh, well, as you see here, that's not, not always not, necessarily that's true. always true. Okay, well, that's really good. And, um, you know, usually I think of them coming up after a, a spring rain, and then the ground warms up a little bit, and then they just seem to pop up overnight, which I think is really exciting. You think we can get that one too? Yes. Okay. Do you have, uh, you mentioned the other types here. Do we have um, any of the other types here at Maplewood Nature Center? We here? should be able to find yellows also. Okay. Um, the blacks are among the first ones to come out. And really we're early. a little late for okay. them. Okay. All right. All right. Well, well, we'll keep looking. Hey, Scott, while we're looking, what is the normal range of morel mushrooms? They grow over a significant portion of North America, huh. very far north of us, very far south of us, okay. and east and west, so the chances are good. A lot of people do seem to find more in the northern states than they do here, but okay. they're looking still good. Careful, you oh. got to step on Whoa. that. Whoa, okay, right there. Now this yeah. one does look different. This so. is different. Let me compare it to one of our, our grays. Oh, yeah. Different yeah. colors. So this is. So you've got a yellow. Yellow. There. Okay. And the yellows often grow even taller than the grays. But really, you know, do people need to be worried about confusing this with something that may not be edible? They can get confusing. Um, this really brain type mm -hmm. um, chambered spot. There's another one. Ooh. <laughs> is something that uh, you look for on the top, and it is attached to the stem. Mm -hmm. uh, some hang down freely like an umbrella and that's not what you want. That's not mm -hmm. a true morel. Okay, so the stem is even hollow. I'm going to yeah. go ahead and break this one open. Okay. And that's a good tip, identification tip. I the stem hollow. is hollow. There are some that are similar and you could mistake them and they, they're they usually filled with uh, part of the mycelium. Okay. So that's some things that you want to look for. Okay, all right, and um, you know sometimes there's some other things in the woods like squaw root um, that kind of looks mushroom-like, but um, you know I, I always say to folks if they're first-time mushroom hunters, a get a good book, b mm -hmm. go out with somebody like you that's 
found morels and eaten them and that way you have a better chance. That's what we all do through life. We should find the people who are smarter (laughs) than we are and 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 learn learn a thing from from them. them. Yeah. Well, I'm um, pretty excited about tasting these. Are we going to be able to take these back and cook them up? Sure. Let's go try it. Okay. All right, so Scott, that Check it out. is huge. That's a morel? That is a morel. It's like the, si- know. It's the it, size of a chicken. <laughs> it's a pound and a half. And this is like yellow? This is a yellow. Okay. It was found when it was getting rather old, so okay. that's why some of it is starting to dry up. Uh-huh. But it'll cook fine. And it's actually kind of bent over on itself. It was so large, right? Yes, this, this is actually the top right here. That's amazing. Huh. This actually folded over on itself. It couldn't support its own weight. Whew, wow. <laughs> All right. Well, we've uh, done a little bit of prep work here. We got some of the morels sliced and Right. Rinsed. They're going to fry a lot more even mm-hmm. if we can get some flour inside and out. Okay. Always good to slice them open and, you know, sometimes you find slugs or ants or dirt inside. It's the They're close little... to the ground, yes. Yeah. Just get the gravel off of them. No, nobody wants a gritty mushroom. No, exactly. Now, if people are trying morels for the first time, you got any tips for... Some people are very sensitive and don't do mushrooms at all. Okay. So, if you're one of those people, uh-huh. then just taste a little bit. Uh, Some people do better with wild mushrooms than they do uh, farm mushrooms. Oh, is that right? Okay. But still, try them. Just try it in moderation, right? What we're going to do is trying to add to the flavor. We're not going to try and cover up the flavor. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be frying them. Okay. I've got a mix of, uh, this is actually pancake flour Mm -hmm. uh, that's got uh, wheat flour and some cornmeal. Oh, nice. Perfect. And we're just going to Get it thoroughly coated, coated. Okay. and then over here in the skillet, yep. I have a mix of butter and some olive oil. And you know, we should mention as these are cooking up that um, not every park or natural area allows people to harvest mushrooms or other items in the woods. Here at Maplewood Nature Center, you do allow folks to go off the trail, right? In LaGrange County Parks, we Uh do allow mushroom picking. Uh, Just use common sense. Mm -hmm. Uh, Some people start charging through, and we actually do have sensitive areas in most of our parks because we're very proud of our natural area. And you might knock something over that you didn't intend sure. to. And all those spring wildflowers get trampled. So so I guess it's a good point. People should always ask ahead, right? Stop in, right. ask. It's easy you... to do. Yep. Ask and find out. I can smell them. Ooh, those look delicious, Sky. Mm. And right now they're quite hot. Let's okay. let them cool for a moment. Just for a it second. won't take long at all. All right. Just a simple little treat. Now, some places you can actually purchase harvested morels in grocery stores and supermarkets. They're very expensive, like $50 a pound. Yes, that tells you how highly sought after they are (laughs) and how tough to find they are. It's all that supply and demand thing. That's right. And some people do consider this one of the best of the spring delicacies and I can tell you're so excited. (laughs) I love morels. Try these over here. These are the first ones to come out. All right, that's good. Mm. Mm. Mmm. It's so good. Mm. It's delicious. All right, well if folks want um, more information about Maplewood Nature Center, we'll have information on the Outdoor Elements webpage. Uh, and they can certainly contact you to get more tips on morels Hmm. and how to fix them because these are delicious. Thanks a lot. (laughs) Up next, get on the slimy trail of slugs and snails and learn how they help nature break things down. Have you had a chance to check out the Outdoor Elements webpage? It's a place to watch shows that you've missed and so much more. Want to find out more about Evie? Click on the host tab and see why Evie thinks Outdoor Elements is so important that for 10 seasons now, she's been helping Michiana learn about the outdoor elements around them. There's lots more to see and do on the Outdoor Elements webpage, so click on over.